Hey everybody, it's Craft Studios, and I'm back with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this is my fourth review now, and it is on the LEGO Star Wars Droid Escape, and it is set in 9490, 137 pieces, four minifigures, and it retails for $19.99. The front of the box has a bunch of just that. On the back, it shows that flying in the air that, again... You can lift the top of it off, and yeah, and it shows him in the speeder right there. So let's go on to the instructions. Regular size instructions, basic, nothing too special. Shows the figures right here, all the all the figures. Hold on a minute. Shows all the features. It shows a little feet like the um feature right there, crashing. Right there, and it shows them running away from the stormtroopers. RT doesn't run like that, but um, shows all those sets right there. On the next page, it shows figures. Right there, it shows Ace Assault 2. I beat that game actually later online. Um, there's that. Lego Star Wars 3, and all that stuff right there. Screaming kid on the back as usual. So let's start off with the minifigures, of course. Start off with my least favorite, one of my most least favorite people in Star Wars of them all, which I think is just really annoying pe person, C-3PO. This minifigure is just okay, he's gold of course, I already have one of him from the Luke's Land Speeder set. You can see the torso with the cords, the nice detailing. His eyes are like whitish with black pupils, he's got a mouth right there. Um, very detailed back printing with the cords inside, of course, which is very nice, and it's a better um, version of C-3PO than the older version, and he's a pretty nice minifigure. The next minifigure is a an R2-D2. I have three R2-D2s now. Three of them are the, like, I have three R2-D2s, two, um, all of them are the new version, and I do have one old version, so basically I have four R2-D2s. And back head printing right there. You can see the front of his face and torso printing right there on his piece. And there are stickers in the set, just saying. I forgot to mention that. Next figure is this sand trooper, which looks really awesome. Detailing with the sand all over him and stuff. The blaster. It's got the very nice detailed torso printing. Little piece. Oh. I just dropped the piece actually. <laughs> it's just a little circular silver stud. Nice cloth right here. The helmet's awesome. And it has this thing in the back. I, I don't know if that's a jetpack or a backpack or something. And now onto my favorite figure this guy, Sand Trooper. I keep dropping stuff, I don't know why. Um, it's got this face right here. Oh, I forgot to show you. Each of these guys have this face right here. Um, longer blaster. Orange cape with a black backpack or a jetpack. One of those two. He does have back printing if you take it off, but it's not like it's not awesome, but it's still pretty cool. Same exact printing on torso and legs as the other guy. So, yeah, that's basically it for the figures. They're pretty nice. So let's go on to the small thing in the set. The little speeder. This thing is one of my most favorite mini speeders that I've gotten before. It's just awesome looking. Like, just the look of it is really sweet with the spikes in the front of it and the how he sits on it. I'll get the guy that sits in it and put him on. Put his arm out like this. His cape kind of blocks his arm though. That's the only thing. It's kind of really hard to get the figures on because of their capes and all the accessories that they have with them. That's just how awesome the figures are. <laughs> there we go, he's sitting on the speeder now and it goes like that. Blaster, you can still use it. And those things I guess are engines that let drive and I think those are gun racks. We can put guns right there. And now the main feature of the set which is the escape pod. I'm not a very big fan of the escape pod from the movie. It's just an okay thing. 
but I decided to get it so I could get the TC-14 and it'd be kind of a cool thing to add to my collection and these are stickers right here going all around you see that and this is a sticker and this is a sticker um very nice pieces right there this thing blasts on it you can move them around like this move that like that it's pretty awesome and something can grab onto that I guess I don't really know and inside the escape pod you can take this off and I don't like the fact that it just sits on there like this I mean if you want to turn it upside down it just falls off that's just pretty stupid I really don't like that it's just major con it's just really dumb I wish they put, would have put like a black one of these in and with the this end in so it would actually hook in so and here's the controls right here and it's blue on the inside for some reason I don't really like that and big pieces on it and just tons of really sweet stuff in it though um nice so let's get on with the rating now this rating would be a a 7.5 out of 10 or a 7 out of 10 it's just really weird I don't like it that much the figures are awesome though so yeah look for more lego reviews rate and subscribe